Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to talk about different properties of fluid. Let us start with density. What is density? A density is defined as the mass per unit volume. It is an uh, intensive property which is uh, mathematically defined as mass divided by volume. Rho equal to m upon v where rho is density, m means mass and v means volume. The unit of density in uh, SI unit is kilogram per cubic meter or kg per meter cube. What is the effect of temperature on density? In case of a fluids, whenever we increase the temperature, volume of fluid increases and hence mass density decreases. While in case of a fluid, as the pressure increases, volume decreases and hence mass density increases. So in case of a fluid, whenever we increase the temperature, so its density will reduce. While whenever we increase the pressure, so at that time the density will increase. The second property is specific weight. Specific weight or uh, weight density of fluid is the weight per unit volume. With increasing temperature, volume increases and hence specific weight decreases. With increase in pressure, volume decreases and hence specific weight increases. Therefore, specific weight equal to specific density multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. Specific weight equal to weight per unit volume. It is uh, denoted by Greek letter gamma. Specific weight gamma equal to W by V. But we know that W equal to mg. So, gamma equal to m into g divided by v. So, gamma equal to rho g or specific weight equal to rho into g. The next property is specific volume. It is the volume per unit mass of the fluid. Its unit is meter cube per kg and it is commonly applied to gases. Specific volume equal to volume divided by mass. So, specific volume uh, V equal to small v equal to capital V divided by M. The density of a substance is the reciprocal of its specific volume. The density of a substance is the reciprocal of its specific volume. So, rho equal to M by V or density equal to 1 upon specific volume. So, density it is a reciprocal term of specific volume specific gravity next property is specific gravity it is the ratio of density of the fluid to the density of standard fluid for liquid the standard fluid is uh, considered as water and for gases the standard fluid is considered as a air next property is viscosity what is viscosity Viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offers the resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of the fluid. When two layer of fluids move at a distance dy apart one over the other at a different velocities say u and u plus du as shown in sketch. The viscosity together with relative velocity causes a shear stress acting between the fluid layers. The top layer causes a shear stress on the adjacent lower layer while the lower layer causes the shear stress on the adjacent top layer. This shear stress is proportional to the rate of change of velocity with respect to y and it is denoted by symbol tau. Mathematically tau proportional to du by dy. So, whenever we remove the proportionality, so here we put the some constant, it is called mu. So, tau equal to mu du by dy, where uh, mu is called the constant of proportionality and it is known as the coefficient of dynamic viscosity, where uh, du by dy represent the rate of shear strain or velocity gradient. The unit of viscosity is a uh, newton into second per meter square or pascal second in SI unit. Here we derive the unit for viscosity. So, 
म्यू इक्वल टू टाउ अपॉन डी यू बाई डी वाई वी नो देट सी एस स्ट्रेस मीन्स फोर्स अपॉन एरिया एंड डी यू बाई डी वाई मीन्स डी यू मीन्स चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी एंड डी वाई मीन्स चेंज ऑफ डिस्टन्स सो इट इज अ रेशियो ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी अपॉन चेंज ऑफ डिस्टन्स नाउ वी पुट द यूनिट फॉर अ फोर्स द यूनिट इज न्यूटन फॉर एरिया द यूनिट इज मीटर स्क्वेर एंड द यूनिट ऑफ वेलॉसिटी इज मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड फॉर डिस्टन्स द यूनिट इज मीटर so now put all units in uh, equation of mu so whenever we simplified this term the unit of viscosity is newton into second per meter square in si unit but we know that uh, pascal equal to newton per meter square 1 pascal equal to newton per meter square so here we put the value of pascal instead of newton per meter square so the other unit of viscosity is pascal into second it is just for your information the unit of viscosity in mks unit is a kg f into second upon meter square while in cgs unit the unit of viscosity is dyn into second per centimeter square or poise so 1 poise equal to 1 upon 10 newton into second per meter square or 1 poise equal to 10 raised to minus 1 newton into second per meter square this is just for your information and it will be useful for any of the mechanical competitive exam now we will discuss variation of viscosity with temperature the viscosity of liquids uh, decreases with increasing temperature while uh, in case of a gases whenever we increase the temperature so it viscosity will increases this is due to the reason that the viscous forces in a fluids are due to cohesive forces and uh, molecular momentum transfer so in case of a fluid the viscous forces are present due to cohesive forces and molecular momentum transfer so in case of a liquid the cohesive forces uh, predominates the molecular momentum transfer due to closely packed uh, molecules and uh, with the increase in temperature the cohesive forces decreases in case of a liquid so with the result of decreasing viscosity but in case of a gases the cohesive forces are small and uh, molecular momentum transfer predominates so with the increase in temperature molecular momentum transfer increases and hence viscosity increases in simple way in case of a gas is whenever we increase the temperature so it will increase the kinetic energy of gases random motion of the molecules increases and uh, it will create or uh, it will increase the resistance in the fluid so according to the definition of the viscosity viscosity means it is a property of fluid which offers the resistance to the one layer of the fluid to the another adjacent layer of the fluid so it will increase viscosity of gases due to increase uh, resistance due to random motion of fluid kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity means it is defined as the ratio between the dynamic viscosity and density of fluid it is uh, denoted by greek letter nu thus uh, mathematically nu equal to viscosity upon density or nu equal to mu by rho now we derive the unit for kinematic viscosity so kinematic viscosity equal to viscosity upon density we know that unit of dynamic viscosity is newton into second per meter square and we know that the density unit is a kg per meter cube so now we put the value of 1 newton equal to 1 kg into meter per second square here already second per meter square is already there so put the value second per meter square and uh, divide by kg per meter cube it is a unit of density now we further simplify the equation and uh, finally we get the unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second in mks and si unit the unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second while in cgs unit it is uh, written as centimeter square per second